Good morning, Quadcopter 101, and what I got for you today is a neat review. This is the MJX Bugs 6. Now, the Bugs 6, as some people have suspected, is essentially the same as the Bugs 8. The main difference being the shape of the cowling. It's got a different cowling, that, and all you do is you can actually interchange these cowlings, pop this one on this one, and this one on this one, just through these four screws, it pops open. But the other main difference is what comes with it. This Bug 6 is the low end $75 one. Um, all that's in here that comes with this is nothing <laughs> other than the controller and its battery. Um, it's mainly intended as a you know sport flyer, an open field sport flyer, a high powered brushless open field sport flyer. It does not have the uh, FPV camera that the, the all in one FPV camera that the Bugs 8 has. It does not come with the screen, with the goggles. Um, it's just, again, a sport flyer. So again, it's the same as the Bugs 8, except it doesn't have a lot of the features that the, the Bugs 8 has. That's the reason and the difference in cost. The Bugs 8 costs twice as much as the uh, low end Bugs 6 because of the goggles. Uh, the monitor screen and uh, the FPV camera; those those add up to why it's you know much more costly. But if all you want is a sport quadcopter, or maybe something you want to throw your all own all-in-one camera into, you can do such because there is the control port power plug in there. If you want to put your own camera in there, such as a little all-in-one camera that are available these days, and then use your own goggles to view it, so you can convert this easily, easily into a sport FPV uh, flyer. So. Let's go for a flight of this thing. Uh, did I mention anything? I haven't gone over the uh, transmitter. Transmitter is the same as the Bugs 8. This button here is for selecting rates. This button here, if you hold it down, unlock, or if you press it once, unlocks the blades and starts them up in um, idle. And to shut it off, you have to hold it down. That'll shut and hold it down for about two seconds to turn off the uh, uh, power to the quadcopter. This is for your flip button. For doing flips, you press it once and tell it which direction to flip. And this is your photo and video button, which is inoperative on this quadcopter. Your throttle, pitch, and roll, and yaw, and trim buttons. Let's go for a flight of this thing and see how it performs. Okay, it has the same battery as the Bugs 8, which is 7.4, 1500 mAh, uh, 20C, 25C uh, battery. Uh, you start her up. Again, there's no on-off switch by plugging it into the back port here um, with this XT30 connector. Again, make sure to double check that the red is on your left going to positive and the black is on the right going to negative. Um, it'll be difficult to jam it in there if it, in reverse, but I can know there'll probably be somebody who succeeds. <laughs> so uh, that's why I recommend you do that. And then you turn on the quadcopter or the transmitter and bind it by going up and down. Actually, I guess this is the first time this has ever been bound, so it's not wanting to bind. And the way to bind it, if rebind it, is turn off the transmitter, then hold down this red button while simultaneously turning on the transmitter. And that puts it in bind mode, and now I am bound. And now we're ready to go. And we're going to start the motors by pressing this button here one time, real quick, and taking to the air with the Bug 6 Sport Drone. I'll show it up front, up close, letting the wind blow it by me. I'm going back up wind again. Now this quadcopter, those blades are really spinning fast, folks. So I, that's why I don't recommend this for beginners. You can get hurt with this if you, this one bumps into you. Well, we are in a low rate. Yeah, let's try that flip button. You gotta hold the flip button down to make it flip. If you just press it, it won't do it, okay? And you gotta hold the flip button down. And let me bring it in for a second here. I wanna um, also calibrate its uh, gyros. Its gyros seem to be pushing backward a bit, so bring it into my pad. My landing pad is relatively level. And then shutting off the motors. And I got a breeze from my right here starting to pick up, but let's put it that way. And what I'm going to do is stand behind it <laughs> and move the sticks down to the left. I don't know. I think it's down to the right. Yeah, down to the right calibrates the gyros. See the see the red flashing lights. If it is drifting, 
without wind, if it's drifting without wind, that means your gyros are probably out of cal, out of calibration. And to calibrate it, again, bring the sticks down and to the right while putting the quadcopter on a flat level surface. And that should correct the, or correct the problem. Okay, starting the motors again. Going back to the air again. And yeah. Okay, let's see what type of punch we get with this. Ready, set. Well, not a lot. <laughs> It's just a little 7.4 volt battery in there. Now this quadcopter is a lot lighter than its uh, big brother, the Bugs 8, or, or sibling, the Bugs 8. So we should actually get a lot better flight time than the Bugs 8. Probably might run out of battery power on my camera too, because I was doing other reviews here today. But let's go to high rate too. Okay, that's high right there. It's fast. I gotta keep it in close so you can see it. <laughs> but it now the other day I did a uh, balls to the wall, or <laughs> they call it, uh, pedal to the metal run. And I discovered I was in low rate, so ignore that. This is fast, folks, once you put it in high rate. I'm gonna have to do that over again. Not out here, I'm going to have to go back out in the desert again. Because it is fast. See how that thing goes? Now let's try some sports flying. Well. Ooh, sun. <laughs> Got it in. I better fly. I'm gonna go over here, folks. <laughs> Keep the sun out of my eyes. <laughs> keep, yeah, keep it away from yourself too. <laughs> that sun is messing up my flying here. Let's go out in the center of this field here, so I can fly the other direction. Keep the sun at my back. Let's bring it in close so you can see it. Yeah, once you're in high rate, this thing becomes a different beast. And I really apologize for that. Uh, actually, I might pull that video down or keep it up to keep, <laughs> cause arguments. <laughs> but once you put it in high rate, yeah, this thing becomes a different beast. As you can see here. Very different beast. You do those flips though in high speed, it tries to level itself off though. <laughs> I'm trying to throw a pitch back into forward a pitch again. But it, it's not good at doing flips in forward motion. So keep that in mind. I'll try to do it slowly to show you what I'm talking about. And yeah, stop it. Let me show you what I'm trying to say here. I'm going fast, I give it a flip, it does the flip, and then it does this, and then this, and then this, and then, then it goes off again. So um, keep that in mind, folks. You know, if you try to do a, a rolling flip and continue on, it's going to be difficult um, because it tries to, to counter that. Maybe they'll correct that in a future update. Um, let's start the motors again on the grass here and get to the air. I'll do the grass cutting here. Ooh. Wasn't sure which way was the front or back. Be careful, folks. <laughs> I'm still at high rate, though. You know, when flying this high rate, keep it away from you. <laughs> because it, it is fast and high rate. I, I really apologize for that video. I am going to pull it down. I'm going to take that video down. That other one I did. This is a great sport fire. Well, a little bit wobbly in the cyclone. <laughs> it's pretty good down to show you that. Good flyer. For 75 bucks, 
You want a, a really zippy sport fire? You got here. You go. With long range too. Again, this is not for beginners. You know, be a need to be an intermediate to fly this. I would not use this as a learn to fly quadcopter, as you will hurt yourself, as I've nearly hurt myself several times here today. <laughs> so, be very careful, folks. And again, you want to be able to very he'll be a very comfortable flyer already before getting this. Um, not for beginners, as you can see. <laughs> see, you know, beginner flyers. If you're going to do go out there like that, how are you going to maintain orientation? Uh, I want to just maintain, try to maintain orientation by that light. Sometimes you don't see that light. <laughs> You'll say to yourself, is that forward or backward? There, but there are techniques that you should try to master, such as maintaining orientation just by movement. Uh, dang, this is a good quadcopter. It's just uh, the flips. I don't like the flips. But everything else about it I like. Yeah. People saying the Bugs, oh, I'm going to stick with my Bugs 3. Well, actually, this one is kind of nice. And it's lower price, I believe, than the Bugs 3 by by $25, I think. And it's a long flyer. I, I know my camera's probably not. Still, let me check to see if my camera's still operating on my hat. Then we'll, I'll go back to the air again. Let me land it here for a second. It's flying so long, I'm starting to worry about the water in the field here shortly. Okay, yeah, still got battery power on my hat. So going back to the air again. When's the battery die? Who knows? The range on this is spectacular too. You can go way up there. Oh, 300 meters, folks. That's nothing to sneeze at. And it warns you too when you're getting out of range. The transmitter, it starts to beep. And when you hear that little beep, that means bring the quadcopter in. Because it's either low battery or um, you're at going out of range. So that means bring the battery in immediately if you hear any beeping on your transmitter. I am going to hit myself. And I know other people are going to hit themselves with it because it is a wild and wacky quadcopter. Let's bring it in close, folks. Okay, the front is the white light. <laughs> Bugs six. A low inversion. Not bad for a low inversion. Wow, it climbs rapidly. Not super punchy, but rapidly okay hear the beeping that's my battery hear the, hear the beeping that's low battery warning so we're gonna land it and it's back lights beep or blink too and it also beeps <laughs> let's unplug it so all in all my thoughts on the bugs six yeah, this one's cool. Um, you want to put your own uh, all-in-one in there? You can turn this into an FPV racer. Again, I'm going to have to do that uh, pedal to the metal vi video again. I'm pulling that down because uh, this thing redeemed itself today. So I hope you enjoyed this flight. This is the Bug 6. Uh, again, the Bug 6 and Bugs 8. Only difference is uh, FPV system that's installed and the monitor and... Uh, goggles that you get with the Bugs 8. So, hope you enjoyed this flight. Quadcopter 101, signing out.